Chris Hogg. Um, I'm 31 years of age and uh, I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer in uh, May 2009. It obviously, it was a big shock to myself and my family, uh, having a little girl of one and that. Uh, but uh, it's been two years now since I was first diagnosed. Um, as I say, it was a huge shock and at my age you don't expect yourself to get cancer. But um, it probably made me appreciate you know, the subtle things in life a lot more. Uh, and uh, really value family time, which is uh, probably the most important thing to me at this particular time. As I say, I was diagnosed in May uh, 2009. First symptoms for me started in February, and it would have been major indigestion, um, and that kept uh, occurring for a couple of weeks. And then I began to have problems uh, with difficulty in swallowing, and that was the main symptom for me. I'd always need a drink of water to pass a small amount of food, and that became a norm for me, and uh, generally it got to the point uh, where it became every meal, but uh, I spoke to uh, my wife about it, and I was concerned. Uh, I didn't want to make a big deal about it, but uh, she emphasized and said to me, look, you know, maybe we should go and go to the GP, and uh, so I did that, and uh, I went to the GP, told them about my concerns, and thankfully uh, I was referred, and uh, everything worked well, and uh, immediately from that point, thankfully, uh, I listened to my wife, and I think that's important, the more people become aware of this, the more you can really uh, get on top of it, and the quicker you do that, and the quicker you go and see your GP, the quicker you can uh, get uh, get your treatment, and uh, it can work for you, it, you know, it may pass for a stage where it may be too late and so it's, it's important to really act quickly. The age group is from 55 onwards but through going, going through this myself I've uh, met a lot of people my age and uh, slightly younger so and it is something that's really becoming more, uh, occurring more in the western world, it's increasing uh, definitely. And what we've done is uh, a ra raise uh, 500,000 and this is used to uh, develop a register for uh, people who have Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus is the precursor to, uh, to esophageal cancer but not everyone uh, who gets Barrett's esophagus will get esophageal cancer but it is important to become diagnosed. Uh, Lollipop Day is uh, uh, there is a, a Dublin Gospel Choir on Henry Street uh, in Dublin on the uh, Friday the 4th uh, and uh, Sonny Knowles will be there who is a survivor of esophageal cancer and um, Lorraine Keane will be hosting it so uh, it's, uh, it's at 1 o'clock so if everyone comes down it would be great support and uh, hope to see you there.